high point in the movement is definitely having these not just celebrities, but politicians, political figures come on the show. It's always nice hearing someone like Barry Goldwater Jr. We're going after some other big talent, like Bill Maher is showing some interest. His people are looking at us to go on the show. He's the kind of person we want. Bill Maher is a moderate. If we could get him to do our show. If you're listening, Bill, <laughs> We want you to come on and get your message across. We've just been running a forum and poll, and that is capitalism or socialism? What's your choice? The results from said poll are 45% capitalism, 21% socialism, and 34% chose a hybrid version of the two. We are a, a, a capitalist country. We're, we're going to remain capitalist. The question really has to do with to what extent are we going to use uh, some of the uh, things that we have developed, like unemployment compensation and health care coverage and ways that we protect people uh, in disaster so that the society as a whole benefits and so that we can prepare citizens who can carry on uh, a successful uh, capitalist country that is regulated capitalism that doesn't just exploit workers, but that actually rewards uh, efforts. What you're talking about, Bo, significantly is going back to our poll the hybrid aspect it's the the convergence of the two systems coming together it's quite fitting for the staunch moderates movement because we're talking about setting our differences aside finding common middle ground uh, to affect vital public policy in the fairest way humanly possible and that's what we're working at doing with this movement. And most people in this country, I think, see themselves as, as uh, part of a capitalist system. They just assume that certain things uh, like uh, unemployment compensation, being able to get uh, social security is part of the capitalist system now. That's how they would- Or they're arguing it should be. We do have social security. <laughs> we, yeah, we, we do, it, it is part of the system. It is this balance between the two. Um, what makes up our society? I saw this quote come in on my Facebook feed and its sentiments works for me and perhaps it will for many. I'm tired of COVID-19. I'm tired of blacks versus whites. I'm tired of Democrats versus Republicans. I'm really tired of the media. I'm really tired of wearing a mask debate. I'm tired of no one being allowed to think what they want and feel how they do without offending someone. I'm tired of the people who are out there jumping on the bandwagon just to spread hatred and starting riots, looting and destroying others' properties. I'm tired of blaming the world for sins of a few. We're one race, the human race. You want to support Trump? You do it. It's your choice. You want to support Biden? You do it. It's your choice. You want to believe in God? You do it. It's your choice. You want to believe in magical creatures that fly around and sprinkle fairy dust to make life better? Awesome. You do it. But how about being mature enough to be able to deal with the fact that everybody doesn't have the same mindset as you do? Having our own mindsets is what makes us individuals and beautiful. If you can't handle that, oh well. I don't have to agree with everything you believe in and you don't have to agree with me. It's your choice. It's my choice. Just be a decent human being. You don't have to like this post or agree. It's your choice.